Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... Hey guys, this is TNT. We're ready to get rolling on the Crazy Town train. We're playing <laughs> Madden today. Uh, I don't, I don't know. And I go, Madden, Chiefs franchise. I know, dude. I, the bit it sounded better in my head when I was <laughs> Did it? Yeah. When you make fun of me? No, it wasn't even... <laughs> oh, that wasn't <laughs> you pretending to be me. What? <laughs> is that really what you think I'm here to do? Is Every to time it? you make fun of me, that's exactly the same voice you use. No, it was it? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. It was like my excited man voice. Well, you're just an excited man. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was going to say, that basically is me. <laughs> that was my excited man voice. Oh, wait. You are an excited man. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I don't know. No, I'm not making fun of you specifically. Okay. I mean, if you were, it would be fine. Man. Don't worry. Just excited men in general. <laughs> I'm just making fun of excited men, period. <laughs> I like it. I don't understand excited men. Yeah, dude. I am one, and you I ever, don't get it either. You ever get a man excited? Oh, oh, oh brother. <laughs> Let me tell you one. Story of my life. Just exciting men. Let me tell you here one, Tony. One Tony, huh? Yeah. Oh, God. My mic's probably making all sorts of noise in the mic. I didn't have it set properly. What are you doing over there? Are you adjusting? I was adjusting, dude. Don't adjust. Yeah. Oh, you know, I saw something on the internet right before we started doing this that what I thought you would be interested in. The, uh, the Backstreet Boys did a new video of I Want It My Way. Or that I, way, that way. Um, And all five of them are in different locations. And they like did like a, a mashup of the song, Yo. with like current, current like like every, receding hairlines and whatnot. Every, every piece of media that I intake is people on Zoom, just like, hey, we're connecting over. I don't want to watch your Skype phone calls, all right? I don't want to watch you Facetime somebody else famous. It right? was very, uh, it was very well put together. So I think their 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 band probably. Uh, well, the band managers basically probably took all the video and then like they had like they were like zooming the videos in on the side and they were zooming out like it was. Oh my God. Okay, so it was edited. Oh, it was very edited. Okay. Oh, yeah. well, it wasn't just like it wasn't like a uh, Gal Gadot having all the celebrities sing Imagine. <laughs> All that crap. <laughs> oh my god, dude! People were not happy. I don't understand not being happy about it. I just thought it was lame and corny, and I kept it moving. Well, but... I thought. Well, the thing that I heard online uh, or, or I read when people were like complaining about it was, yeah, you guys talk about how you want everything to be imagine a better world when you're sitting in your million dollar mansions up in the hills talking wow, about how much your life's like. And I was like. They're just trying to make some some people out here happy. See, yeah. Now that that's <laughs> when it comes down to it, Jonas. I always used to think like it's impossible for somebody to hate you for the things that you have. I can't hate a person for being rich because I'm not. That's ridiculous. Wait, well, that's I mean, and that's that hate right there. Oh yeah, that's pure hate, dude. Well, look at you sitting in your million dollars. Yeah, mother I work for it. <laughs> right? Why don't you go act some mo in some movies and you'll have one too? Yeah, you can be you can be in a million dollar mansion going, oh yeah. god, you can be there going, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> that's just people not being happy with their own lives. Oh that, yeah, that, dude. Well, that's the um, that's the it's like um the quote. Screen so I can see. Um, that's like the quote I heard. It was like God. I'm trying to think of what it was. I've ever written down somewhere. It was something along the lines of like. Anytime you're doing anything that's bringing you positivity in your life, someone's going to hate on it. Whether it's bringing you riches, whether it's you're bettering yourself, whether whatever it is, somebody's going to be hating on it because you're bettering yourself and they're not. Yeah, I don't know. I used to be in such denial over that idea just because, to me, it just seems so foreign. Oh, no, no, no. I get, but, I get where you're coming from on it. Absolutely. But, I mean, I guess it is real. I mean, that, that, that right there. <laughs> that whole inc incident right there just kind of proves it. Well, yeah, it's just like, you know, somebody gets a brand new car, they're like, F Steven is brand new Miata. Yeah, man. F loser. Like, no, dude, he worked hard and bought a nice, expensive car. Like, <laughs> yo, they, they, they shot XXX Tentacion, man. <laughs> because cause he had 10K in his pocket? <laughs> the man was at a car lot looking to buy a car, and somebody was like, hey, he has money. Let me take his life. <laughs> right. Why does? Why would people think like that? Oh, he has money. Let's take his life. 
I mean, I'm sure well, yeah, they because just that was like a random act of violence. It wasn't yeah. like it wasn't people who were out to get him because they no. did something. They were just like, oh, that's our famous rapper. He got money. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, eat the rich, man. <laughs> that's the reason that's a thing. Eat the freaking rich. Yeah, dude. It's not. It's, that's that's uh. Is I think that's the basis for socialism. Is it not? Uh, being rich? No, eating the rich. Um. Is that, oh, is that saying that everybody hates on the rich because they have too much? Yeah, which which side is the democratic? Democratic is left, right? Yeah, they're the left. Yes, because alt right. All right. So yeah, alt right <laughs> is like uber. Yes, that's how good. Way to... I have to think down. So I think alt right, then I think Republican, then I think uh, dem Democrat or Republicrat. Okay. And then I think re Democrat, and then I think socialism. Okay. I think those are the how the spectrum is set up. So alt right is the far right, socialism's the far left. <laughs> I don't know if alt right is so much a political. There's an alt left too, but those are like. Oh, like uh, they're the extreme progressive. Oh, people. what do you call them, dude? They got a name, dude. They got a little name. Oh, they Antifa. Got what? It's Antifa. Wiz, Wiz Khalifa? No, Jesus Christ, John. <laughs> it really is. It's called Antifa. Why is it called that? Well, oh, yeah. I thought you. I, I thought like you had more to bring to the table. No, Antifa <laughs> is like uh, it's it's like Democrats, but they're more like uh, kind of like the alt right. They act in more violent ways to kind of get rid of xenophobia. It's really like a righteous fight that they're fighting, but it's like uh, they're going about it a crazy way. Yeah, they're Anybody like who's like over the top about anything like. You're like, I get your progressiveness, but like, yeah, you didn't want to chill, chill out. You went a little too far, Batman, too, <laughs> too Punisher. <laughs> you are Robin Hood to the extreme. All right, Sorry. so which which would which would uh, so the alt right would be what? Obviously, a super villain. The alt right is like what they call like the like the like the um white not white supremacist, but like the um mm -hmm. that's that's like alt right, far right, like. No, I thought they were like white supremacists, weren't they? They're basically like Republican to the point where I will shoot you, right? <laughs> I guess, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't follow politics a lot, but yes, they're very like, it's like the extremist version of yeah, those views to the point where they will like hurt people to get their point across, yes. Yeah, yeah. So what, what super villain would that make them? Or are they a, oh, wait a minute. Or are they a superhero, Jonas? It depends who you're asking. Well, I mean, we, I mean, we, we like. I mean, we to, like. to the Nazis, Hitler was a superhero. To the world, he was a supervillain. <laughs> I mean, preach, Jonas. Yeah, I mean, Tell me more about <laughs> World War II. Was that the right war? Yes. Oh, I did it! Boom! He got something by history. <laughs> Just so you know, me and Jonas are social distancing. We're about six feet away. Right? Yeah, we're yeah. probably. Probably at least about six foot, yeah. yeah six, seven feet, I'd say. Yeah. yeah, I saw an article on, on uh, online one day, and it like it gave examples of what six foot was. It was like, it was like a couch, but not if you're sitting on the cushions, a full a full oh bed length away from each other. And I was just like, can people really not tell how far six foot is? <laughs> no, just remember, it's like being in school. <laughs> <laughs> There's some people that are just like, <laughs> they just can't. So we can sit on the couch. The paper says so, honey. And you know, then they sit on the couch and they give each other this. Yeah. Oh, let me talk about something that happened today. So my friend, I was talking to her, and she was like, "So my mom booked a vacation to Universal Studios Yo, why would you do for that? the end of April. This was like months and months and months ago." Yep, man. She ain't going she, to that. No, no. She said. She said she called Universal to make sure that she shouldn't cancel her trip, and they told her, oh, no, it's fine. We'll be open, and she is determined to go on April 20th, regardless of what is going on, because the guy on the phone at Universal Studios said it was okay. I was like, does she know that the president just had said, like, extended things, and but, but, like, but Universal, like, goes above everything anybody – she goes, she must think that because she's still planning on going. And she even made the comment about how it would be nice because no one will be there. And I was like, and then she'll come back and die. <laughs> like, why are you like? Oh, man, I don't 
Why is Universal out here telling people, no, it's cool, come on out? Man, that was just some dude on the phone. <laughs> right. I was like, she's listening to some guy making, like, minimum wage. Yeah. Just, like, she would have she been just as good to call me or you. <laughs> right? The guy who's being told by his boss, don't let anybody cancel at all costs. No, nah, no, nah, come on out. <laughs> I doubt if he even said that. He was like, hey, yeah, I just got this job. <laughs> sure. Should I return my ticket or will you guys be open? Oh, no, we, sh we should be open. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll be good. <laughs> you don't want to know my name? All right, good. <laughs> yeah, right. You have a nice day, lady. Yeah, right. So. <laughs> like some guy in a call center in Milwaukee. Going, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, we, we open. <laughs> and then he kicked his feet up and started talking to his teenage girlfriend. <laughs> He's a teenager, too. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, okay. I didn't even think that till you said it, but yeah. All right, I'm just making sure, dude. Yeah, dude, it's a... Uh, I don't know, people, people are... Uh, they're they're Why would just you even go to, Have you ever been to Disney World ever? Nah, dude, I haven't. I don't like Disney enough. You and everybody's to... like, no, you should go. It's great for adults, too. And I'm like, I don't... What, I don't... what about Universal? Nope. Never, never wanted to. Universal, I wanted to go do the Back to the Future ride because I like Back to the Future. That's a poor reason to go that far. <laughs> well, right. <laughs> and then they got rid of it, so now I don't have to. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's fair. Back to the Future hasn't been relevant for quite some time. Well, right, dude. But, uh, yeah, I've never been to Disney World. I hear good things about it, obviously. Um, I mean, Universal. No, those are like, are they amusement parks? Are they, what are they, theme parks? Well, it's parks? like, it's more than just an amusement park. Because, like, it isn't like, when I think amusement park, I think of, like, Six Flags. Or, like, Geauga Lake. For people who don't know, it's essentially a Six Flags. Cedar Point. Yeah, Cedar Point. Um, but I guess Disney has a... Uh, at Waldemere. Go to a freaking Turtle Beach at Geauga Lake. <laughs> Turtle, Turtle Beach. Beach. <laughs> Turtle Beach, bro. Um... But, like, those places are more of, like, an experience because they have, like, all the rides and stuff, too, but they have, an enti they have like, entire things that are, like, just, like, they have, like, nightclubs and, like, all sorts of stuff. Like, it's, it's, oh. like, it's like a whole big... Because, like, there's people that we know that have timeshares at Disney. So it's a resort. It is a resort. Oh. But it's, like, a theme park with a resort with, like, all sorts of stuff. Because there's people that we know that have timeshares that I, for Disney... And go numerous times a year. Yeah. And I ask, I literally have asked them, why? Like, why would you go to the same place mm -hmm. two times a year for ten years in a row? And they're like, there's all sorts of stuff for adults to do. It's not just for kids. And I'm like, fair. But if you're going to take a vacation twice a year, why would you not go different places? <laughs> like, why That's would true. you go That's true. to Disney twice a year? I don't know. But it, it, it just, uh, just popped in my memory that... Uh, when I was living in Florida, I used to talk to my bank tellers a lot because, you know, they handle your money. You want to be good. And it has definitely come in like I lost my card one time. They were like, oh, we got you. Yeah, right, right. And right, I was right, able right. to buy and purchase or whatever. They handled me very nicely. But there was a young girl there who she was like she was working as a bank teller and they're not banking. All right. No, no. They, I mean, they don't make bad money, but they don't make great money. Yeah. And she would spend a vast majority of her pay. For her timeshare at at freaking uh, the, the 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 mouse place. Yeah, with dude. The mice. I work with people who live duck, in Los in Angeles, dog. and I can't tell you the amount of them who tell me they have season passes to Disney and go all the time. Like I have a buddy. He's like, yeah, me and my girl going to Disney again. And I'm like, what are you doing there? Don't you just go there and like spend money, <laughs> like and buy nineteen dollar beers. And by, I don't know, why like, do you, why would you... I don't like going anywhere that much, except why do you, for my bedroom. Why do you need a whole turkey leg? <laughs> why do you need yeah. that? I don't, I, don't, I don't like going to the same places over and over again. I don't need Disney World to be like the 7-Eleven around the corner <laughs> that I go to all the time because it's close. <laughs> like, Is there a Disney strip club? I don't think Because so. Snow White could get it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I've been to a Disney burlesque show before. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was in Austin. Is that legal? I'm pretty it sure seems, that Walt would have a problem like, with that. It was like, yeah, it doesn't seem like... It was really bad. I didn't care. <laughs> it was really bad. I, like, it was, like, outside, but it was in the... Once it was, like, cold here, so it was, like, only, like, 40 degrees outside. And they were doing it outside on an outside stage, and I didn't wear a coat. 
because I thought we were going to be inside and we were going to be bar hopping. And like, so I was like, I was like, this is stupid. And I just went inside and sat at the bar by myself and drank while everyone else was watching the show. Oh, and then they got done and we all went out to other places and we were inside the rest of the night. But I was like, it's really cold. Why am I outside watching something I could care less about? Couldn't, couldn't care less about. I mean, yeah, dude, burlesque too. That's just like, I'm going to show my bloomers, right? Yeah, yeah, dude, it was not any, no, dude. It was some bloomers? It was like, I don't know. It seemed wrong to me on very many levels. Like, <laughs> like why would these you be... childhood figures perverted <laughs> before your eyes? Exactly, dude. The other thing, the other thing that okay, the other thing that weirds me out a little bit about mm-hmm. like ghost or show and just like kind of music in general, especially like um, at the Disney burlesque, and I believe at at a strip club, I've heard this too. People were doing dances to Billie Eilish songs. What's wrong with that? She's a flipping minor why are y'all dancing naked to a minor's music i think that's weird music is, transcends age though people have been effing to Aaliyah songs and she was 17 when she when she went away oh when she when she uh and then yeah dude and then donny osmond don't even get me started on him yeah i don't know it just it's something about <laughs> it just seems weird dude. billy eilish also has that whole persona thing where she tries to be non-sexualized oh yeah she wears like 4x pants yeah. <laughs> she's like obviously a thin girl she's like the anti-bad bobby baby yeah <laughs> who is just like I just wonder if one day she's I'm gonna 27. like she's just gonna like she, when she's it's like 25 she's just gonna be like wearing like spaghetti strap tank tops and g-strings around and like being like Miley Cyrus right, yeah I guess kind of because she was like a whole like yeah she was like all we got, Disney we got all the ends of the spectrum here that's we got true <laughs> Billy Eilish who was like down there Miley Cyrus who was just like I'll spread my cheeks on stage <laughs> right she went from being Hannah Montana to like let you see inside me yeah <laughs> Just pooping on some dude's <laughs> chest from the stage. It's part of the show, guys. Hey, it's okay. It's <laughs> like it's, going to a Gallagher show. You gotta get yeah, right. Track. You gotta watch the splash zone. <laughs> now Miley might might piss on you. <laughs> she watch. might poop on you. Just letting you know. Yeah, they have it labeled as the splash zone. Like when you go see <laughs> when you go see Shamu at what at uh, Sea World. <laughs> the splash zone. <laughs> They give you the, the, the plastic tarp to pull up over your head. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome, dude. <laughs> Ew. Ew. The Miley Cyrus fat lash. Hey, watch out. First three rows are splash zone, folks. Yeah. She could still get it, though. Oh, Miley Cyrus? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She ain't, she ain't bad looking. That's for nah. sure. I mean, she dirty. I mean, she ain't. Look, look, she is a lovely young lady, and she has more money than you and I, but I that mean, does not mean. I mean, we can't speak she's the ev- She may be a bee, dude. We don't know. A bee? She might be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Say that on the YouTube videos with your mouth and uh, turn to Bill Cosby when I get corrected. <laughs> you can't say that either. You can't, be Bill, can't, you can't be Bill Cosby. I can say B word more than you can act like Bill Cosby. No, I can act like Bill Cosby now. <laughs> we should do a whole episode acting like Bill Cosby. I should do a whole episode like Bill Cosby. Who are you going to do a whole episode as? <laughs> like Who do you idolize? <laughs> wow, you idolize Bill oh, Cosby? See, now you're taking words out of my mouth that I said. <laughs> I said <laughs> How dare that. you take my words and use them as my words? <laughs> yeah, who do you want to be? You got to do a whole one as Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> I don't even know what he sounds like. Yeah, you sound just like him. <laughs> uh-huh, I did. don't want to die. <laughs> Please, don't kill me. I won't tell anyone. I sound just like him. There you go. <laughs> Basically, those three lines. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? How's the please, weather today? Please, please stop. There we go. What are you going to have for dinner? <laughs> Jeff? I didn't do it. <laughs> Perfect. You go, what to put the pudding in the pudding pop? I go, I don't want to die. That's all we'd say for a whole episode. <laughs> all right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. You've already done that. Oh, man. Call your mother. Because it's time to repent. <laughs> For wow, Jonas, the doom bringer. <laughs> TNT Dynamite. We are out.